Hey YouTube, Parson Rick here. It's a uh, Tuesday evening. Sitting out here in the backyard, enjoying a smoke. Um, my son took off last the previous weekend and came back this weekend. Him and some buddies went uh, from Oregon up to Coeur d'Alene and then out to Sturgis area. Had a nice little road trip. Followed the <coughs> snow plow up the Beartooth Pass. <laughs> Said they were the first ones up there that day or whatever. There was about four feet of snow. And made it home. Uh, my wife, Miss Chris, she's gone to Montana. She rode out to see our daughter by herself, uh, left Sunday, I think. He'll be back Friday. And the club's got a big poker run ride on Saturday, so will be doing some riding. Oh, my son brought me back <clears throat> some stuff from the Deadwood Tobacco Company. I've been there before. I, I did a video on it a long time ago, a couple years back, and uh, it's one of the only three places in South Dakota you can smoke indoors. There's a, a tinderbox in <sighs> Rapid City, and then there's this place in Deadwood. But while he was there, he brought me back some stuff. He brought me, uh, what I'm smoking right now is one of their house blends. It's called Joe's Evening Campfire. And one of their customers mixed it. He is one of his blends and it's really good. I bought some when I was there last time and I, I don't know if I'm out of it or not, but I haven't smoked it in a long time. This is very good. It's a, uh, Burley, Cavendish, and Latakia. Um, so kind of sweet, but Englishy, if that makes sense. And then he bought, uh, brought me some cigars that I also got there. Got a couple of Sweet Janes. They're, uh, they're a Drew Estate blend, and the the mouth end is dipped in a chalk a chocolate. They're not infused. Excuse me, they're not infused, so it kind of makes your <clears throat> lips taste like chocolate. So the flavor holds the whole time. And he got me a a crazy Alice. They've got pretty interesting band art on them. I actually picked up a bandana with the Sweet Jane logo when I was there last time. Always get compliments on it. They picked me up those. Uh, the, uh, the Crazy Alice is the same tobacco as the Sweet Jane, just in the torpedo shape. And then he picked up me up a little bag of... That was the Joe of the the Sweet Jane pipe tobacco, which is same blend, I guess. I have never had it, so the uh, the Sweet Jane cigars are really good. I've got some in there, so they brought me back that and a T-shirt. You know, appreciated it, and uh, let this go out. So, that was pretty cool. It's been a busy week. It's a good, it's a good smoke. And I've been smoking almost everything in this uh, uh, unfinished Savinelli that I got from Eddie Gray. Uh, I've smoked aromatics and and Englishes and and whatever this qualifies as and they uh, 
all do quite well and it's coloring up nicely. Um, as a matter of fact, don't don't tell anybody because you know you don't want the pipe Nazis getting on you. But um, I keep this pretty much full time in the pocket of my lawn chair, so it sits outside. You know, it it was that and the bag of tobacco were in my were in my chair under cover, but under chair all winter and. I, I haven't had it sitting out here while it's been so hot because I don't want to just destroy the wood. But I have a feeling it would be okay. But it's been very nice. You know, the, the pipe itself, there's a, you know, there's blemishes in it. That's why it's a second. That's why it was only, you know, 40 bucks or whatever. But boy, it's a good smoker. I've really enjoyed it. Most of my pipes are, are bent pipes. But I've got this and another one, which I couldn't find. And today I was cleaning out my bookshelf, and it was in an old, it was in a cigar box. There was uh, some some tobacco and the other pipe. And so I put it in there for some reason, I guess. My mind's not doing so good. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. Crazy. But the kids have been working in the yards. We've got a good garden going. Their corn's doing well. All sorts of stuff growing up. But we found out one of the fruit trees he planted. He has a drip system on everything. And uh, we found out that one of them, the drip quit working. And the, it's not looking too good. I hope, hope it'll make it. He's got a couple of years invested in that tree. So I just kind of stay out of the way. Yeah. Pay for the water, pay for the land, <laughs> eat the produce. <laughs> I'm good. My, my part's done. I just, uh, I'm just the money behind it, I guess. Oh, he. he uh, the kids have bought all the plants and all the dirt uh, they built up we had we had huge trees behind me here um, we had three huge trees that were rotting and so afraid they'd come down the house and we took them out and they had uh, you know of course huge stumps and root balls and, and we just let the stumps rot down into the ground again Finally, this year they were gone enough that uh, the kids hauled in a whole bunch of, of lawn mix and leveled, have started leveling the yard. I mean, they've been working so hard on, on this and the other house. That's just crazy. <laughs> I came home today and boy, both the boys showed up pretty shortly and one of them started making a pool cue out of bamboo. I, th I said, he's a real good pool player. I said, you ever seen that? And he goes, no. He said, but it's going to blow him away when I show up with a bamboo pool, pool cue that I made in my backyard. And he'll probably win. Yeah. Oh. So. He's doing pretty good. I'm sitting here looking right now. You know, I told you guys about him blacksmithing. Well, it's really tearing up his arm and his shoulder, all that hammering, because he makes a lot of Damascus layered steel. And, uh, and so he went down to Harbor Freight and bought like a hundred dollar log splitter, and he's converting it to make it a press for the for the wood. I'm sitting here looking at what we got going so far. It'll be interesting. I like a guy who thinks, that's for sure. Yeah. I haven't been doing much of anything, but we went out Saturday and pre rode our route for this weekend. It'll be a good route. And, uh, and found a really good Mexican restaurant in this little podunk town with nothing going for it. 
It's got two Mexican restaurants sharing a parking lot, basically. And we went to the least attractive of the two. And the food was excellent. And I, oh, I was hurting for two days. The, the special was fish tacos, right? Usually a fish tacos on a four inch tortilla. I said, okay, you know, nine bucks. I got it. Came on a huge plate. They're eight inch tortillas and rice and beans. <laughs> and I was like, oh. The, the, the tortillas were so full they wouldn't close over the stuff. I got my $9 worth and a belly to boot. But everybody, no matter what they ordered, everybody was, was full. So. <laughs> you could tell my upbringing, you know, I was going, oh man, I one filled me up one of one of the three tacos filled me up and i hadn't eaten all day two o'clock in the afternoon and i was like oh this hurts because like, what well, you don't have to finish it i yeah, know by god i paid for it i'm eating it <laughs> you, know, you never let anything go to waste old country boys dust bowl okies oh well so now well, there's plenty of time rambling on. Posted a couple of uh, motorcycle rides this week. Uh, nothing but just the visual. So enjoy them if you want to. And uh, I'll see you later. God bless. Parson Rick out.